So sitting with me today is Jan Willem. He's 33 years old and uh, he's been here about two months. This is your second time, is that right, Jan? That's right, I was here last year for a month. That's amazing. Jan, so what made you come back to Combat Group? Uh, first of all, when the first time I was here last year, uh, I liked it from day one. You know, beautiful weather, good food, the campus that takes care of you. And I was here for boxing and the boxing training is quite high level. You know, I've been boxing for a while and I've been training for four or five times a week already. Uh, so I know, kind of know what I'm looking for in terms of boxing professionality. And since they have five trainers here and all professional boxers uh, with good workout, good training gear, you know, the correct uh, training facility. Um, yeah, it was perfect for me. And so I knew actually from the first month uh, last year that I wanted to come back for a longer time as well. That's wonderful. So this time around, Jan, did you train with someone in particular? Um, mainly because I have a certain style. Uh, I have very long arms. I like to keep distance. But I also like to kind of mix things up in a way that the opponent doesn't know um, what to expect. And the beautiful thing about this place is they have a certain trainer who also kind of trains like this. and Or, or also trains versus this. So they, they put you against somebody uh, who, who can train versus this, so you kind of know what to do and when, when to do it. But they also help you uh, with the trainer who, who's used to this kind of fighting. So it really sp uh, focuses on your abilities and your strengths, but also your weaknesses. So you just grow from the person you are. They don't bring you back to, oh, this is the basics because you've learned some weird things. No, they see, okay, this is how you fight and then grow from there. And I think that's, that's one of the key uh, or the main selling points or the best things about this camp is that they focus on you, uh, not just as a fighter, but also like how you want to fight and as a person, which I think is great. Who was that trainer that, uh, that was? Joel. Joel. Yeah, for me it was Joel. I did also private lessons with him with sparring. And I told him like, you know what, my technique is, is good, uh, my conditioning is well, and I just want to focus more on sparring because I, I like fight, I like to fight a couple of fights. Uh, and sparring is, it can be high level, you know, it doesn't mean you have to punch the, knock the other guy out, which he did to me a couple of days ago, but yeah, well, I kind of, you know, instigated it because I was punching hard as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jan, you mentioned uh, food. Uh, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about the food? Yeah, it's, uh, first of all, there's a lot of variety. So if you don't like a certain kind of food, uh, you'll probably have maybe once a month. But you can also say like, oh, I don't like this kind of food and I'll make something different actually. But overall, it's like morning, lunch, dinner is, uh, you, you get vegetables, you get fruit, you get, uh, uh, you get some kind of meat, you get your rice, of course. Uh, but there's also like at dinner, you get your potatoes, your spinach, you know, your, your, your carbs. It's, it's well balanced and, it's, it's, and the, the variety makes it so that you don't, uh, dreading uh, again spinach or again the same kind of, or again pad thai or whatever, you know, it's, it's very different and it's, it's well cooked and it's well done. And you can also ask for more and they specify on, on, on your diet or whatever, which makes, for me, it's very important because I like to focus on my diet since I'm a skinny guy and I want to stay skinny. <laughs> um, I've been to several camps and, and every camp has a different ambiance atmosphere because of the people in it. Yeah. How would you explain the ambiance here at Combat Group with the customers that they have. What's the feeling that you get? Well, it's a good question. I feel like uh, last year is very different than, uh, than this year. And maybe it's me or the people themselves uh, that are here this year instead of last year. Uh, but I feel like there's a kindred spirit, you know, the same kind of people that, uh, that come here. Uh, they are uh, social, they are world oriented, you know, because and they, they travel a lot. And what I really like is that they're all fighters. And fighters have a kind of different mentality than, than normal people, well, normal people, um, because they, 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 they're used to working hard and they're used to uh, helping each other, you know? Because if I'm having a hard time at the gym, there's somebody saying, oh, come on, you can do 10 more reps or you can uh, focus on your footwork a little bit more or whatever. And I do the same to other people. So you, you kind of grow towards each other and you have uh, yeah, you have great conversations even during lunch, but even during boxing or, and yeah, I mean, there was this guy who was sparring all the time and uh, yeah, he was forever grateful that I, that I gave him some, some tips and techniques and 
you know, and just help each other out. And it just makes it uh, a very good experience overall. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some viewers that are maybe hesitant about coming, especially ones that have never boxed or, or, or never actually trained in any type of uh, sport. Um, what would you tell these viewers? Do you think this is a place that anyone can come, or is it specifically for just fighters only? Well, like I said before, they look at you as a person, as an individual, um, and not just at the level of boxing you are, but also as a person. So, and there are people, of course, they, um, um, they, they, they're not used to working as hard as, as a fighter, you know, because they're not used to this kind of training regimen or, or even like uh, they, 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 don't, they don't know how to push themselves over the limit, you know. And it doesn't mean you have to, or the, the trainers will do, but they'll, they'll see like, okay, I can push a little further. And for my problem was I, I was over serious at times. So the trainer would come to me and joke with me, you know, so I loosen up a bit, you know, and so I can finally, because I would just fucking, you know, be super focused. And that's not always productive for, for, for improving technique or stamina or whatever. So he would just joke around with me. And that's his way of helping me. Which is great. So if somebody comes here and he has no experience, they will help and help him with that way. You know, see, okay, you can push yourself in this way a little bit harder, or they will just say, ah, oh, do one more rep. You know, do two more reps, or you know, just folks that didn't need to do that for me because I would do it for myself. But I needed someone to just lighten up, you know, the entire atmosphere for myself. Well, Jan, uh, there's anything else you want to tell our viewers uh, before we go? Please, now's the time. Do you have anything to say? I feel like it's a, it's a unique experience. So there, of course, are expectations with every vacation or every uh, travel destination. But I feel like if you have or your assistant do it, uh, I would just go for it because it, it's, it's so different and so unique and it's good. So even if you maybe this is not for you, after you figure out there were a couple of weeks, you've done it and you've learned something. And I feel like that's the most important thing is you've learned something from your travels because you can go to Italy and see another touristy place or you can go to Spain and see another and it's kind of the same kind of vacation. But this is very different and it can be for you, can, cannot be for you, but at least you know it. You should, you, try. Come here. you should definitely try it, yeah. Well, thank you, Jan. Honestly, it was a pleasure to have you here and watching you train was, was great. I got to, to watch you box and spar. You had a fight not too long ago here and you won that fight with that great training that you had from Joel and the commitment that you put into it. That was incredible to see you succeed in that as well. Uh, hopefully, are you planning on, on coming back? or? Yeah, but probably in a couple of years. Yeah. I mean, these two months have been great, but yeah. grueling. Yes. So, uh, yeah, maybe a couple of years. Okay, well, safe travels <laughs> and until next time. All right, thank guys. you. You're welcome.